good day to all so here we are going to see linear static analysis of a plate with hole using hypermes 2023 so i am dharmaraj manoharan uh, my channel is fa simulation engineer the problem description is a plate is simply loaded on the right side edge and completely constrained on the left side edge the thickness of the plate is 10 mm so the left edge is completely arrested means all degrees of freedom that is x y z are zero the force of 10000 newton is applied here the steps to be followed is import the model link is available in description you can download mesh the model and create material and properties assign the material properties whatever you have created to the specific model and create load collector spc and forces and create load step that is static analysis include all the load collectors that is spc and forces run the analyze review the results in hyperview we are going to use uh, post processing for hyperview take plots and print it okay so let us start first you have to open the altair hypermesh okay simply click altair 2022 hypermesh 2023 the student version is completely available in altair website you can go and search it and download it so after opening it you have to cre click the create session the user environment will be opened uh, soon okay so this is your user environment after creating it you have to go to file and import import the geometry model okay download and copy it in a separate folder so many files will be created in a same folder so you have to use it a separate folder click open and import so after after importing you have to check what is the total length of the model and what is the diameter of the hole you can use the measure option just hover the mouse on the left edge it will be highlighted that is uh, the length of the edge is 500 mm and uh, since it is a square plate this is also 500 mm and the radius of the hole is 150 the total diameter will be uh, 300 mm okay now simply click to exit the option of uh, option from measure and click the 2d button here and generate the 2d mesh and create and make sure that the surface is selected select the surface if you want to change the element size you can change it here simply click the mesh okay so it will be meshed the quality criteria will be shown in the right side of the window i will explain you in a different video for what is the qualities that is shown here okay now you can go to here that is global geometry visualization and select this option the elements will be shaded okay you can simply control the visualization of uh, Uh, mesh and geometry by go to here just click this once the geometry will be uh, hidden and click this option the material uh, elements also will be hidden okay so now i am displaying only the elements okay and also so this is a plate okay so now we have to do the analysis okay before going to analysis you just review the shapes of the element the shapes of the element directly influence the final results so please uh, before proceeding the analysis you just review the shapes only okay so the element uh, uh, shapes are uh, not uh, good at the hole locations you can see here okay okay so since the our area of interest is at this cross section so you need to do a some kind of a split so that the element shapes will be perfect your final results will be very uh, at least 95 percentage or 98 percentage will be accurate so for that i need to delete these elements so select this and go to elements here and select all the elements here and simply press delete option okay so now i am going to split the geometry so that the element shape will be very uh, nice okay so here you can go to topology topology and here there will be hidden uh, uh, icons also icon options will be there so you can simply go to split split by using lines okay so in this uh, the target is this is your surface see there is a offset line option offset the line and washer split okay you just to select this the system will ask you the washer uh, diameter so so let me assume that 30 mm okay yeah so this is okay right 
and also so i am going to use the interactive split mode choose the interactive split and highlight the midpoint here if you hover the mouse over there it will be highlighted here and simply drag it to perpendicular again drag it okay the same way you can make the split at this junction also right yeah it is very simple now highlight the midpoint and drag it perpendicular yeah so it is completely splitted okay so now the surfaces if you want to select the surface only you can go here and choose the surface and see highlight so these are all the simple uh, surfaces it is available here okay so you can split uh, n number of surfaces also by using the split option interactive mode is there for example i can again split this see so that my element quality will be higher and also my results will be also higher okay so this is how i have split it okay so now we can go to 2d and generate the mesh okay select the surfaces you want to mesh first i want to mesh only the vases now the element size is 10 mm and simply click mesh so you can see that still some triangular elements are also formed okay so to avoid that you have to be change this to 12 because inside it is 24 select all the edges in outside okay make it to 12 so now you can see some structured mess also created here right so similarly just give escape and select these surfaces and using 10 mm mesh so i have messed here okay yeah so now around the uh, circular uh, place the mesh is perfect right quad mesh okay so now our meshing is completed right so now we have to create a material properties okay go to model and give click the materials okay you can assign the material property name here material name here and simply by default uh, system will be stored the default values click once click the e Young's modulus and enter it click the enter button also okay close this so material have been created and properties so since this is a 2d surfaces i just want to hide the surface so since this is a 2d elements we need to specify the property okay what is the maximum thickness of the each element and maximum thickness of the total uh, plate okay so here i can assign so thick 10 mm creating a collector thick 10 mm and card image is p shell okay and click the material and click the material advanced selection here and select the material and give ok and you have to assign the thickness as well enter the value and enter it okay press enter button and close it so now we have created the material and properties so we just created we have not yet assigned to any model highlight this model okay now it will be ask you the property just to select the property and select the three button thickness 10 mm and give ok so now it is being assigned because the property is being assigned with the steel material property this both property and material are assigned to the model right okay so uh, this is the uh, flow of uh, hyper mesh okay so now we need to create the load for that i need to go to analyze okay so constraints so let me make it so you can click this button okay so that the proper view will be given here okay so so i'm going to constrain the left edge click the constraint and no nodes are selected and you can select this three button 
so by collector i'm going to use by edge select this by edge option okay select the edges so this one and this one so totally see 51 nodes have been selected and create all degrees of freedom is zero right and also load highlight the loads which uh, you want to apply so this is force and this is pressure and this is moment you can choose any one okay so this is a forces and similarly i am going to select the nodes by edge option select the lines okay so now 51 nodes have been selected and constant component so here i am going to apply in x direction so 10000 10000 newton and make it as zero okay create it okay close now you can see that you can go to model and always you can review the forces which you applied right click and review okay so for each node it is applied 10000 newton right okay so load collector have been created now we need to create a static analysis for that right click create load steps okay load step static load step one is static analysis and the spc constraints that is being already created in a load collector select this okay and similarly the load which is applied at the right edge that is 10000 newton and give okay and close it okay so now everything we have completed right so now go to analyze and there will be hidden uh, icon here right click here and analyze so there is a run after step solver and here you can manage the load steps now we don't need that you just click this analyze run after step solver and save it as a plate hole underscore one and save and export the system starts the solver you have to select run after completing the analysis the message log will be applied that means analysis completed okay now you can review the results by clicking the results button automatically the second software which is hyperview it is a famous for viewing the results whatever the solver you can use ansys abacus or optistract or radios or famcras or ls dyna any results can be opened in hyperview okay so now the model is being opened here we have to create a displacement plot right so just click the contour button and just select apply see so there is a displacement that is being created here if you want you can change the scale of the deformed shape by clicking the deformation option here and select the value 100 and click apply apply so this is the deformed shape of the plate okay if you want to review the stresses okay again go to contour element stresses averaging method simple and apply so this is the stresses which we are getting okay so now you can uh, close these uh, results okay you can split the window okay otherwise you can simply go to contour and you can edit the legend because it is in scientific format edit the legend with fixed and ok apply ok close this so now you can clearly see the uh, total values so here approximately 593 mega pascal is producing ok yeah so you can now choose this option so that the window can be splitted into two see here also you can immediately load the displacement okay just click here and go to contour 
so there is no results have been opened here okay sorry mvw i have opened so insert uh, hyper view file has to be opened h3d file apply see here also it is open go to contour and uh, apply displacement legends if you want to edit the legends so that is also fixed now close this so in a single uh, uh, screen you can uh, split the windows as many as you want okay okay so now you can take the snipping tool click new and the contour can be captured here and save the file so thank you if you like this uh, then you please uh, share it to your friends and subscribe to fa simulation engineer thank you very much